कुछ नहीं फ्रेंड्स लास्ट क्लास राइट डूइंग द चैप्टर असाइनमेंट प्रॉब्लम्स थ्री मोर प्रॉब्लम्स आर लेफ्ट इन दैट पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर सिक्स सेवन एंड देन एट विल कंप्लीट दोस थ्री सम्स इन टुडेस क्लास एंड देन स्टार्ट विद द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन प्रॉब्लम्स प्लीज सेटल डाउन स्टॉप टॉकिंग प्लीज स्टॉप टॉकिंग we'll try to start the transportation problems in today's class please it will take another three classes to complete the chapter transportation once the chapter is over you move on to the cost accounting portions <coughs> settle down so QT will be left with only two more chapters to cover. One is simulation, another is network analysis. Simulation is a very small chapter. Network analysis is a chapter that is similar to linear programming in size. Okay, these two chapters are left over. We'll come back to these two chapters after doing some number of costing chapters. After three classes, we'll be starting with the. main costing chapter called as variance analysis or standard costing will be starting as the first cost accounting portions so now let us summarize first what is done in the assignment problem and then complete the remaining three sums the remaining three sums question number 6 and question number 7 we will be learning some new things also while solving it so those two are very important sum Question number eight is a simple problem only of a formulation type. We'll start with that simple question and then complete question number six and question number seven. And just to remind you, which I do every class, please start revising the old chapters, linear programming over. Before that, learning curve also completed. In today's class, we'll be completing the assignment. Okay. Suddenly, it may seem that batch not only has started, but will start completing portions very soon. And when other subjects also accumulate, it may become unmanageable for you to revise. Simple way is to revise on daily basis. Spending one hour time per day for revision is better than accumulating and revision revising in ten days for ten hours. It will give you a very peaceful revision as well as clarity in the concepts. Okay, now. We saw that assignment problems are type of linear programming problems, where the main aim is to assign the jobs to men. Condition is there should be a one-to-one -one relationship. A single job cannot be given to two persons, or a same person cannot do two jobs. If that condition is satisfied. instead of using complex method like simplex and all we can just go for a simpler hungarian steps for solving an assignment problem we saw how an assignment problem can be written as a lpp model the specificities are the va variables x y j can either take zero or one value it is bivariate only number 2 there should be a one to one relationship all constraints will be having the right hand side is equal to 1 and the assignment algorithm or steps are capable of solving only minimization types this is a feature we discuss about an assignment problem in that case we saw how to solve a assignment problem first step is to do row operation select the least number in every row and reduce it from other numbers in the row operation matrix perform column operation select the least number in each column and reduce it from the other numbers then you try to cover the zeros with minimum number of lines that you have to search for rows with maximum number of zeros or column with maximum number of zeros draw against that row or column suppose there is a tie we have row also with three zeros and column also with three zeros means to count how many rows are having such number of zeros and how many columns are having such number of zeros suppose three rows are having three zeros and two columns are having three zeros means i should draw the line across rows or in columns across rows it should be drawn 
like that we cover the zeros with number of lines if the number of lines is equal to order of matrix then we can proceed to make the assignment if it is not equal we call it as degeneracy in degeneracy we will not be having enough zero spread over the assignment matrix then we have to go for some improvement in the matrix what we should do identify the least uncovered number and then add that number to the numbers in the intersection of lines subtract the numbers from the uncovered numbers leave the remaining numbers unchanged this procedure should be done again and again till you come to a stage where the number of lines is equal to order of matrix then finally go for the assignment steps where we have to start assigning with the row or column is 1 0 because if I miss that 0 I don't have another 0 to assign in the row or column so we can just postpone the assignment for rows or columns in 2 zeros because always the choice is available with me right or not in that case start assigning by allocating a 0 if the row or column is having any other 0 what should I do cancel those zeros for uh, ensuring that two assignments are not made in the same row or column this is the procedure for doing an assignment problem. Maximization problem given means the first step is to convert it into minimization by identifying the highest number in the matrix and reducing all the other numbers from it. That is we make a maximization matrix into a regret matrix. By minimizing the regret, we can maximize the profit or production as the case may be. Next, unbalanced means number of rows is not equal to number of columns. When you have unbalanced matrix, we should be balancing it. Either by adding a dummy row or a dummy column for the deficient number. In that case, the dummy row or dummy column will be always having 0 as the value. Dummy indicates rejection. Dummy indicates what? Rejection. And when you have an unbalance and the maximization, we conclude that let us first balance it and then convert into minimization. It is not going to matter first if you convert and balance in assignment chapter, it does matter in a transportation. So both chapters you can have a common procedure, first balance and then convert into minimization. Where any cell, the question says do not allocate, those cells are called as prohibited cells. We saw in the last class, last problem, that manager 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 problem, where they did not like some rooms at all, those cells should not be allocated. How to prevent allocation in prohibited cell by assigning a very high cost, M to A, so that minimization will not select the cell having a bigger value. Suppose the problem is a maximization, what I should do, put minus M in that cell and then proceed doing the problem. I hope everybody following or not. Yes, this is what has been discussed in this chapter assignment. We will just discuss three more problems quickly. This problem can be done as a practice and the remaining two. One is the airline scheduling problem. Another is a traveling salesman problem. Two good problems formulation types will be doing it and then concluding this chapter. Can we start or not? No. See take question number A. Take question number A. So request is have focus, show some speed in doing the sum or calculations so that uh, we can at least complete the IBFS in transportation in today's class. Can I start or not? No. An organization producing Good evening friends. Settle down. Yes, An organization producing four different products A, B, C, D, having four operators PQRS who are capable of producing any of the four products works effectively seven hours a day. Seven hours means how many minutes? Yeah, don't think. Yeah, seven hours, how many minutes? Yeah, 420 minutes. Okay. Correct, 420 minutes. The time in minutes required for each operator for producing each of the product are given in the cells of the following matrix along with the profit in rupees per unit. Operator P is given product A. He takes how many minutes? 6 minutes. Operator P given product B takes how many minutes? 10 minutes. Tell me if FE, SC is given product C, how many minutes? And so on. Every unit of A gives a profit of 3 and B gives a profit of 2, C gives a profit of 4 and D gives a profit of 1. 
find out the assignment of operators to the products which will maximize the profit. That's the question. Can we start or not? No. Okay. Last class itself, question number 5 we did. Yes or no? 5, 6, 7, 8. All these four sums are formulation types. What types? Formulation types. They don't give the matrix straight away. We have to what? First bring it into an assignment type of problem and then start doing it. How in LPP we had formulation problems or not? Where they give the situation, then you write the objective and constraint function and then start solving using the simplex. Like that here, we have to first formulate this into an assignment matrix and from there we should start solving the question. Can we start or not? Not. First of all, I will tell you for one cell what to do. Then you should participate and tell me for all the cells the calculation. Can you do it or not? No. See, for example, P is given product A. P is given what product? Product A. In that case, how many minutes he takes for a unit? 6 minutes. How many minutes is working? 420. Because all are working 7 hours a day. No? How, many hours, how many minutes is working? 420 minutes. In 420 minutes, at 6 minutes per unit, how many units you can produce? 70, 70 units. units. Every unit, what is the profit? 3 rupees. So, in this cell, the profit is 210 rupees. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Right or not? How I did? 420 divided by 6 into 3 gives how much? 210. One more example. P is given what product? B. How many minutes? 420. How much minutes per unit? 10 minutes. How many units? 42. Into what? 2. You see the profit matrix. Everybody respond yes or no. Like that, can you tell me the profit matrix for the a profit for the entire matrix or not? Tell. And then give you time to copy it. Then we can just do the remaining problems together. Okay? Now. All of you, please participate. A, B, C, D are the four products. And tell me. Who are the four persons? P, Q, R and S. Now, all of you tell me, P given A. What divided by what into what? Tell me. 420 divided by 6 into 3. Okay, next. P given B. What by what into what? 420 by 10 into 2. Please tell me, next is what? 420 by 14 into 4. Next is 420 by 12 into 1. Next, Q given A. What is the number? 420 by 7 into 3. 420 by 5 into 2, 420 by 3 into 420 by 4 into 1. Can I proceed? R given A. Tell me the number. 420 by 6 into 3, 420 by 7 into 2, 420 by 10 into 4, 420 by 10 into 1. Last, yes. What is the number? 420 by 20 into 3, 420 by 10 into 2. 420 by 15 into 4, 420 by 15 into 1. So this is the profit matrix. The spawn is so no. no. For example, if I give Q the product C, what the profit the company can earn? 560. If I give S yes, the product A, what the profit? 63 and so on. Tell me this matrix is a profit matrix, a cost matrix, a profit matrix. Our problem is maximization or minimization? Maximization. Balance, unbalance? Balance. So what do you have to do first? Convert into minimization. How to convert it? Select the highest number. Reduce all the other numbers. From there, perform the row operations, column operations, etc. And complete the solution. Respond. Are you following or not? No. See, here, I'll just put a question which uh, in most of the batches students ask. I'll tell you the reason why you should not be done that way. And then I proceed further. People say, sir, why should I do it as a maximization problem? If I have, for example... The time given now, they given you what uh, time. If the minutes are reduced, if the time is what uh, minimized, the profit can be maximized. Question is this now. Is that correct? Huh? No. So I don't want to formulate and all. I am very lazy. Let me write this matrix 6, 10, 14, 12, 7, 5, 3, 4, 6, 7, 10, 10, 20, 10, 15, 15. If I try to minimize it, actually, if the time is minimized, production is what? Maximized. And the profit also will be what? Maximized. So why can't I do that way? A question may arise or not? Any issue with the No. The problem is all the profits are not same. Because this is 3 rupees, this is what? Uh, 2 rupees. Everybody following or not? Now, if I try to minimize this time, 
and maximize the production of this units production may be maximized it need not be that what profit should be maximized because uh, it is better to settle for the lower production here with the higher units than what here because the profit is how much rupees three rupees if the, there is no profit column if there is what no profit column i can do this as a minimization sum when i minimize the time i can maximize by what production automatically but since the profit per unit is what different i should first convert it into profit matrix and then only do the solution everybody right or not yes, see if i try to write the production matrix for this what is production matrix 420 by 6 70 units 420 by 10 42 units we write the production maximize production maximizing production need not guarantee mean what maximizing profit because i may maximize unnecessarily production of d yeah, right? In that case, production may be huge, but the profit is going to only what? One. Because it is good uh, producing C instead of producing D because C gives you 4, D gives you only how much rupees? 1 rupee. Not only production should be maximized, production along with what? Profit also should be maximized. So the only way out is to prepare a profit matrix and then do it. Everybody following? Huh? Now, again I say, normally for safety purpose, don't try to do any shortcuts while solving any problem because in QT and all, we may not be thinking as great as a method. Are you following? LPP has said that why should it not be equal to 25 lakhs? I have 25 lakhs invest. Should I invest less than 25 lakhs? Why can't I make it a what? Equality. You don't tell the constraint. You allow the simplex to what? Design. Like that, you don't say, let me maximize production. Let it maximize what? Profit. Give me the profit matrix. That's the safest way to do. Everybody following or not? So this is the only point. Otherwise, a routine problem. Can you start or not? Right on. First. Where? No, no, no. Here, I can say like this. In mathematical techniques, na, say, if due to the 420 minutes, I get a fraction of unit, I will not round up here. Understood? You would understand that, for example, 420 minutes available, 9 minutes per unit, 420 divided by what? 9 will give a number or not? I will write the number as it is. I will not round out to a lesser number or higher number because we don't have, I said in linear programming also or not? Every fraction should be what? Maintained. The reason is uh, rounding out should not be done by us. It will be done by a separate procedure. That's what I am saying. Uh, that is beyond our syllabus at this stage. I think you are following or not. Same question arises in what? Simplex also. If I have 420 minutes, 9 minutes per unit means even I get the units. Even if 1 minute can produce 0 0.20 units, I will be what? Producing it and using the time fully. Understood? If you want to round it up, then it is not a single cell that influences the rounding up because the rounding up influences by what? So many other cells also. So all these techniques are mathematical models where we have to deal in what? Fractions also. Understand what I am saying? Same thing we discuss in LPP also. In one of the problem, purchase chemical product, uh, some number, 25, some number we got, na? Uh, 100 by 3, 25 by 3, somehow we got or not? No, we did not ask why, how can I purchase 25.33 package and so on. To round it up, we require another chapter called as what? Integer programming. That's what I am saying. It's not like our costing where it is simply rounding up. QT chapters are always technical. We should not touch the answer. So the idol will not be arising in an assignment problem because we use the resource to the fullest extent. Can I push it or not? No. Now, write down first. Part 1, part 1, formulation into a profit matrix. Part 1, formulation into a profit matrix. See in examination, write like this the formulation. Don't simply do in calculator, write 2, 10, 84, 120, 35. They should know how you have calculated the profit or not. So every cell write in brackets how the number has been arrived at. Okay, because... Even if you make a calculation mistake also, they can understand that you understood the sense of the problem, only that the mistake is done in the calculation point. Okay.
Finish copying, huh? Two rows, I asked. P and Q should have been over, right? Huh? Finish copying up. Those who are not copy, raise your hand. Those not copy, raise your hand. Please fast. Can I proceed? Now write down. Part 2, conversion into minimization. Conversion into minimization. Conversion into minimization. Tell me, what is the highest number in this matrix? This uh, 560 should be reduced from other numbers to make it as a regret matrix. Right or not? Now. So you should tell me the numbers. I will not be having the slide in the next case. Now. Conversion into minimization. Now tell me one by one the row values. 350, 476, 440, 525. All right, right along with me. 350. 476, 440 and 525. Second case it is 380, 392, 0, 455. 380, 392, 0 and then 455. Third case it is 350, 440, 392, 518. 350, 440, 392 and 518. Last it is 497, 476, 448, 532. 497, 476, 448, 532. What I did? I took the highest number in the entire matrix and reduced all the numbers from it. Now tell me, this is a profit matrix or regret matrix? Regret matrix. By not able to attain 560 rupees profit, this is all the amounts I regret. If I minimize my regret, I can maximize my profit. Respond, yes or no? No. Now, write down. Step 2 or step 3, and that is part 2 or part 3, part 3. Solution. Part 3, solution using assignment steps. Part 3, solution using assignment steps. Till the stage, it is not assignment algorithm. It is only making it suitable for what? Assignment steps. Now I am going to apply the assignment step. Solution using assignment steps. Unline that. Now everybody, what is step 1? Row operation. Tell me what the least number in first row. What are these numbers? 350. So we have to reduce 350 from all that numbers. Till and then we can just write 350 minus 350, 0. 476 minus 350, 126. 440 minus 350, 90. 525 minus 350, 175. Now next day, what is that? The 0. So the row remains unchanged. Third, what the lowest number? 
350. Once again, yes or no? 350 minus 350, 0. 440 minus 350, 90. 392 minus 350, 42. 580 minus 350, 168. And here the lowest number is 448. 497 minus 448, 49. 476 minus 448, 28. 440 minus 448, 0. 532 minus 448, Okay, 84. This is the row operation. Can I go say? Write down step 1, row operation. Write along with me. Step 1, row operation. Row operation. What we told, we are doing 0, 126, 90, 175. 0, 126, 90, 175. Next is what? 380, 392, 0, 455. 380, 392, 0 and 455. Third is what? 0, 90, 42, 168. 0, 90, 42 and then 168. Last row is 49, 28, 0, 84. 49, 28, 0 and then 84. Now answer me. Step 2 column operation required or not required? Required because first column has got 0 will not change. Second column has got no 0 will change. Third has got zero, will not change. Fourth has got no zero, will change. Respond, yes or no? No. Tell me, column operation, first column no change. Second column, what the lowest number? 28. Reduce 28 from all these numbers. 126 minus 28, 392 minus 28, 90 minus 28, 28 minus 28. Third column will not change. But fourth column, what the lowest number? 84. Knock it off from other numbers. Can I proceed? Now, step two, column operation. Right, step 2, column operation. Step 2, column operation. Write the numbers 0, 380, 0, 49. 0, 380, 0 and then 49. Second column is 98, 364, 62, 0. 98, 364, 62, 0. Third column numbers are 90, 0, 42, 0. No change. 90, 0, 42, and 0. Last column is 91, 371, 84, 0. 91, 371, 84, and then 0. Can I move to the third step or not? Step 3 is covering zeros with minimum number of lines. Right? Step 3, covering zeros with minimum number of lines. Covering zeros with minimum number of lines. Please write the matrix once again. 0, 98, 90, 91. Left to right, I am reading row wise. 0, 98, 90, 91. 380, 364, 0, 371. 380, 364, 0, 371. 0, 62, 42, 84. 0, 62, 42, 84. The last row is 49, 0, 0 and 0. 49, 0, 0, 0. Everybody, can we stand or not? Tell me. Is there any row with four zeros? Answer. No. Any chorus of law? Yes or no? No. Any column with four zeros? No. Any row with three zeros? Yes. Any column with three zeros? No. no. We have only one row with the three zeros. We have to cancel last row. Let's draw a line against the last row. The notebook put the line numbers in the order in which you are drawing. We should be able to revise it. Can I see? Now, any other row with three zeros? No. Any row with two zeros? Any row with two zeros? No. Any column with two zeros? Yes. Which column? First column. Now we have only row or column with only one zero. I'll just draw against the second row. I'll just draw against the second row. My question is, can I proceed to make assignment? No. Number of lines is three. Order of the matrix is four. It is called as what? Degeneracy. Now, tell me, what is the least uncovered number? What is the least uncovered number? 42. Add this 42 to the numbers in the intersection. Reduce the 42 from the uncovered number. Leave the remaining numbers unchanged. You just tell and then you can copy it. Okay, now don't write. Tell me what has happened to 0? Zero? 0. 98 minus 42 gives you 56. 90 minus 42? 48. 91 minus 42? 49. 380 plus 42 gives you what? 422. This 364, 0, 371. Unchanged. 0 unchanged. 62 minus 42, 20. 0, 42. This 48 plus 42 becomes 
49, huh? ah, okay, 49 plus 42 gives you 91. This is 0, 0, 0. That's an improved matrix. Respond, yes or no? No. Step 2 or step 3? Yeah. Step 4, right? Step 4. Is number of lines is equal to order of matrix? Step 4. Is number of lines is equal to order of matrix? Is number of lines is equal to order of matrix? Right. Number of lines is equal to 3. Number of lines is equal to 3. Order of matrix is equal to 4 by 4. Number of lines is equal to 3. Order of matrix is equal to 4 by 4. There is, there is what? Degeneracy. There is degeneracy. Hence, proceed for improvement. That is degeneracy. Hence, proceed for improvement. Hence, proceed for improvement. Shall I proceed or not? Next. Step 3 or step 4 or step 5? Yeah? Step 5. Improvement 1. Step 5. Improvement 1. What we discussed only wrote here, that matrix and believe me, okay, improvement 1. Left to time, right I am reading, 0, 56, 48, 49. Left to right I am reading, 0, 56, 48, 49. 422, 364, 0, 371, 422, 364, 0, 371, 020, 042, 042, 91, 0, 0, 0, 91, 0, 0, 0. Now, step 5 or step 6? Step 6. Covering zeros with minimum number of lines. Step 6. Covering zeros with minimum number of lines. Covering zeros with minimum number of lines. Always don't do ahead of me, do along with me. Okay. Covering zeros with minimum number of lines. Can I proceed or not? No. Please write the matrix again. 0, 56, 48, 49. 0, 56, 48, 49. 422, 364, 0, 371. 422, 364, 0, 371, 020, 042, 020, 042, 91, 0, 0, 0, 91, 0, 0, and 0. Now, tell me, is there any row with 4 zeros? Everybody? No. Any column with 4 zeros? No. Any row with 3 zeros? Yes. Which row? Last, Last row. Any column with 3 zeros? Yes. yes. Which column? Okay, there is one row with three zeros and one column with one, three zeros. As per Hungarian method, rows or columns here, yeah? any one we can follow. Yes or no? No. I just draw against the row. Okay, draw, draw against the row. It is nothing wrong if you draw against the column procedure wise. Everybody following or not? I just draw against the row. Now answer me. Any other row with three zeros? Any column with three zeros? No. Any row with two zeros? Which row? Third row. We have a row with two zeros. Any column with two zeros? Yes. Which column? First column, third column. That means you have two columns with two zeros and one row with what? Two zeros. I should draw against columns or rows? Columns. I draw again the first column and third column. I'll draw against the first column and then third column. In the parade, first column and then third column. Now, tell me all zeros covered? Huh? Yes. How many lines are there? Three lines. What well, order of the matrix? Four. What should I do? Improvement. Write down. Next. Step. step five or six or seven? Step seven. Is number of lines. Don't worry. This will be the last improvement. Okay. Is number of lines is equal to order of matrix. Is number of lines is equal to order of matrix. Is number of lines is equal to order of matrix. Unline that. Number of lines is equal to 3. Number of lines is equal to 3. Order of matrix is equal to 4 by 4. Number of lines is equal to 3. Order of matrix is equal to 4 by 4. Degeneracy continues. Degeneracy continues. 
these and others he continues. Do further improvement. Stop talking, please. These and others he continues. Do, for, do further improvement. Now, tell and then you can just write. What is the least uncovered number in this matrix? 20. Now, tell me what happens to 0? 0. 40 becomes? 36. 48 remains? Same. 49 becomes? 29. 422? No change. 364? 344. 0? No change. 371? 351. 0? No change. 20? 0. 0? No change. 42? 22. 91 becomes? 1 not. That is 111. 0, no change. This becomes 20. 0, no change. Respond, yes or no. And now, next step. Step number 7 or 8. Step 8, improvement 2. Step number 8, improvement 2. Improvement 2. Okay. Please write the matrix. Now only we discuss now. Same thing I am writing here. 0, 36. Improvement to 0, 36, 48, 29, 0, 36, 48, 29, 422, 344, 422, 344, 0, 351, 422, 344, 0, 351, 0, 0, 0, 22, 0, 0, 0, 22, 0, 1, 0, 20, 0, 0, 1, 0, 20, 0. Respond yes or no? No. Next, what I should do? Covering zero straight. Step number nine. Huh? Yes, Step number nine. Covering zero straight. Minimum number of lines. Step number nine. Covering zero straight. Minimum number of lines. Covering zeros with minimum number of lines. Right. Once again, the matrix. 0, 36, 48, 29. 0, 36, 48, 29. 422, 344, 0, 351, 422, 344, 0, 351, 0, 0, 0, 22, 0, 0, 0, 22, 0, 1, 0, 20, 0, 0, 1, 0, 20, 0. Now, can you proceed? Tell me, is there any row with four zeros? Now answer here. See, unnecessarily you are talking, but when I ask you, you are not answering. Tell me, is there any row with four zeros? No. Any column with four zeros? No. Any row with three zeros? Yes. Which row? Third row. Any column with three zeros? No. I have to cancel against the third row. Don't line against the third row. Any other row with three zeros? No. Any column with three zeros? No. Any row with two zeros? Yes. Which row? Which row yeah? Last row. Any column with two zeros? Any column with two zeros? No. Draw against the row. Now you have only rows with one zero. First row and then second row. Only rows with one zero. First row and then second row. Now step 10. Step 10 now? Okay. This number of lines is equal to order of matrix. Step 10. This number of lines is equal to order of matrix. Unline that. This number of lines is equal to order of matrix. Unline that. Can I proceed? Number of lines is equal to 4. Number of lines is equal to 4. Order of matrix is equal to 4 by 4. Order of matrix is equal to 4 by 4. Proceed to do assignment. Proceed to do assignment. Proceed to do assignment. Can I move to the last step or not? No. Step number... 11. Step 11, assignment. Step 11, assignment. 0, 36, 48, 29. 0, 36, 48, 29. 4, 22, 3, 44, 0, 3, 51. 4, 22, 3, 44, 0, 3, 51. 0, 0, 0, 22. 0, 0, 0, 22. Triple one zero twenty zero. Triple one zero twenty zero. Now, can we start or not? First, is there any row with only one zero? Yes. Which row? First row. Make an assignment here. Make an assignment here. So, is there any other zero in the column where it is sitting? Yes. Cancel the zero below it. Cancel the zero below it. 
E is there any row with only one zero? Yes. Which row? Second row. Assign in this particular row. In this particular zero. Cancel the zero below it. Cancel the zero below it. E is there any row with only one zero? Yes. Which row? Third row. Assign in the second cell. Cancel the zero below it. E is there any row with only one zero? Yes. Fourth row. Make an assignment here. Make an assignment here. Now. Tell the answer and then write. Operator P should be given prod at A. Q should be given C. R should be given B. S should be given B. Okay, write down. Final solution. Final solution. Operator P, Q, R, S. Final solution. Operator P, Q, R and then S. Product. P should be given A. Q should be given C. R should be given B. S should be given B. A, C, B and then D allocated. Now, don't look at the question. We have a profit matrix calculated in the first step, part 1. Right or not? Now, from that matrix tell me, P given A results in how much of his profit? 210. Q given C gives how much of his profit? 560. R given B, the profit is 120. S given D, the profit is 28. 210, 560, 120 and 28. What the total profit? 918. That's the answer for this sum. The total profit is 918. Let's point. Everybody following or not? No. In this sum, nothing great we have learned. Everything is what? Routine. Only thing is we formulated under a profit matrix, that's all. A revision type of sum, that's all. Can I say? No. Take question number 6. Take question number 6. Please don't talk. Please. Shh. Shall we start or not? No. Mark this sum as important because this type of sum is there in almost every QT textbook. They are in practice manual, they are in study material. It is a very hit type of problem in this chapter assignment. Hence we do it. Has been asked once or twice in the CA examination also. Okay. Every book will be having the problem of this type, a very famous sum. In that we will be learning some issues in solving also. Okay. Formulation is interesting, but solving also one or two issues we will learn about the assignment algorithm. Can I start or not? Now, first. An airline operates seven days a week. An airline operates seven days a week has timetable as shown below. Crews must have a minimum layover of five hours between flights. Obtain the pairing of flights that minimizes layover time away from home. For any given pairing, the crew will be based at the city that results in smaller layover. Each pair also, for each pair also mention the town where the crew should be based. So they given you Delhi to Jaipur and Jaipur to Delhi, the two cities where the flights are shuttling. Flight number one starts from Delhi at 7 o'clock and reaches Jaipur at 8 o'clock. Flight yeah. Flight number 2 starts from Delhi at 8, reaches Jaipur at 9. 3 starts from Delhi at 13.30, reaches Jaipur at 14.30. Flight 4 starts at 18.30 from Delhi, reaches at 19.30. Like that, Jaipur to Delhi, 4 flights are there. 101, 102, 103 and 104. 101 starts from Jaipur at 8, comes to Delhi at 9.15. Like that, given for 102, 103 and then 104. 
That's the question which has been given. I'll just give you a few minutes time. Read the question. Try to understand what is being asked. Then we can just start with the solution. Stop talking, please. Shall we start? Now, let us understand what the question requires. More clarity will be obtained as you progress into the formulation area. Okay. See, flights are shuttling from Delhi to Jaipur. We have to pair the flights. We should be pairing the flight. For example, we can go to Del Jaipur from Delhi in flight 1 and return back from Jaipur in flight 101. That is going, coming back. I should be doing a pairing of flights. Yes or no? Because going flights are 1, 2, 3, 4. Returning flights are 101, 102, 103, 104. We think Jaipur as what uh, the home city. Going flights are 101, 102, 103, 104. Return flights are what? 1, 2, 3, 4 as the case may be. Now we have to pair the flights. You have to what? Pair the flights. How many pairs will be there? Four pairings should be there. Because uh, there are four flights. No, you should be assigning four pairings. Okay. The condition is, since there are going to be four pairs of flights, we should decide upon. We should have four flight crews. See, for example, I need not have eight pilots. I need not have what? Eight pilots. Yes, enough you have four pilots. Yes or no? Because your pilot driving flight number one to Jaipur should return from Jaipur or not? He can drive one of the flight and come back. Are you following what I am saying? Uh, like that. Uh, I require four flight crews. That is, I just took pilot as an example. Four crews are to be appointed. Yes or no? And they are given you the freedom. A crew can be either based in Delhi or in Jaipur. In other words, resident of Delhi or resident of Jaipur can be selected for the crew purpose. Respond. Yes or no? No. Our aim is to pair the flights. Our aim is to pair the flights in such a way that for the crew members, their stay outside the city is minimized. Are you following? Do you understand the question? Should I repeat? Okay, I'll repeat once again. Now, crew leave it. Let us take a pilot. Let's take what? Pilot. How many pilots I want? Because one pilot is enough to go and come back. Yes or no? He can drive flight one and then come back at what? Any one other flight. So let's take pilot for example. I am required to select four pilots. Yes or no? All the four need not be from one city. One pilot can be from Delhi. One can be from what? Jaipur and so on. Are you following not? But four pilots should be selected. My aim is which flight should be paired with which flight. That is one if I go. I should return in 101, 2, 3 or 4. I have a choice or not? So the question is, which flight should be paired with which flight so that for the pilot, the stay outside their city is minimum. It's all right. Their city, I don't say it should be Delhi or Jaipur. It can be anything. So now we have to decide which flight should be paired with which flight and each pilot should be selected from which city, Delhi or Jaipur is a question that is being asked. Are you following up? Still, if you don't understand the question, we can understand the question after I formulate it. Can you start or not? Let's start with the 
formulation of the question. Okay, can we start up now? Let us start with first issue. The crew is based in Delhi. The crew is based in what? Delhi. We assume this. Okay, all the four pilots. I am going to start from which city? Delhi. I will prepare another matrix assuming that all the four are going to be from what? Jaipur. And this is like the best among them. Everybody following or not? So let us assume that all the pilots are having their place of state what? Delhi. What is the outstation city? Jaipur. Okay. Now tell me first of all. I will read for one row then remaining you can understand. Okay. Now our pilot is from Delhi. Right? Uh? Suppose he starts from flight 101. It reaches Jaipur at what time? 8 o'clock. Next. Yeah, that is, I pair 1 and 101. One. Suppose I pair what? 1 and 101. One. So, flight 1 reaches Jaipur at what time? 8 o'clock. Flight 101 one starts from Jaipur at what time? 8 o'clock. His return flight starts from what time? 8 o'clock. His stay in Jaipur is how many hours? 0 hours. Now, how? Yeah. There's flight landing and he jumped to the other flight. <laughs> Pass or not pass? 8 o'clock landing. Yeah? That is 8 o'clock what? Take off. Okay. While landing itself like a superman. He cannot what? Jump. Yeah. Okay. Or chota beam. Inhibiting. Can I proceed? Now. The question says the crew should at least have 5 hours rest. 5 hours rest should be. Otherwise, others will be put to rest here. At least 5 hours rest. Okay. That means if I pair 1 and 101. Everybody if I pair what? 1 and 101. One reaches Jaipur at 8 o'clock. One not one starts on Jelly at what? 8 o'clock. Now he cannot take today's one not one flight and catch only what? Tomorrow's one not one flight. So the layover time is how many hours here? 24 hours. In the parade. Should I repeat once again? Huh? Can I proceed up? Now that means you tell me. Suppose a pair flight 1 and 102. Flight 1 and what? 102. He goes to Jaipur in flight 1 at what time? 8 o'clock. Will return from 1 hour to at what time? 8.30. Can he catch today's 8.30 flight or tomorrow's? Why tomorrow? 5 hours gap should be there. They said, no. It will be tomorrow's 8.30. Today's 8 o'clock to tomorrow 8.30. What is the time here? 24 and a half hours. Respond, yes or no? Suppose he reaches flight 1 in Jaipur at 8 o'clock. And returns back at 12 o'clock Jaipur flight. Tell me, can I catch today's 12 o'clock? Tomorrow 12 o'clock? Tomorrow because 8 only how many hours? 4 hours. The layover time should be minimum how much? 5 hours. Can I catch how many hours here? 28 hours. Now, today 8 o'clock it reaches Jaipur. And 17.30 means evening 5.30. Morning 8 to evening 5.30. 5 hours gap is all or not? Yes. Can I catch today's flight itself? So what is the layover time? 4 plus 5 30, 9, 9 hours 30 minutes will be the layover time. Everybody following or like this. For different paddings, I should first write the layover time. Please respond. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you do it together? I don't. First. I don't first. Part 1. Layover times. Part 1. Layover times. When the crew is based in Delhi, layover times. Layover time means what? Uh, idle time. Okay. Layover time when the crew is based in Delhi. Layover time when the crew is based in Delhi. Easy. When the crew is based in Delhi. You should do the working and tell me. Don't read, look at the slide and read it. Okay. Tell me first. The flight numbers write it first. 101, 102, 103, 104. 1, 2, 3, 4. I want everybody to participate and do, please. Can I start or not? First cell. What is cell here? 1, 101. Go to Jaipur and flight 1. When you reach Jaipur? When you Jaipur? 8 o'clock. When 101 starts from Jaipur? 8 o'clock. Today or tomorrow? Tomorrow. How many hours? 24 hours. Right, 24 hours. 1 and 102. 1 reaches Jaipur at what time? 8 o'clock. 102 starts from Jaipur at what time? 8.30. Today 8.30 or tomorrow 8.30? Tomorrow 8.30. What is the layout time? 24 and a half. 24, 1 by 2. 1 and 103. 1 reaches Jaipur at 8 o'clock. 103 starts from Jaipur at 12 o'clock. Today 12 o'clock or tomorrow 12 o'clock? Tomorrow 12 o'clock. How many hours? 28 hours. 
I hope everybody in the class understanding writing or not. Next time. One reaches Jaipur at 8 o'clock. One not one starts at what? 17.30. Means what? 5.30. Morning 8 o'clock to evening 5.30. How many hours time here? Nine and a half hours. Okay. If you are not able to count, go home and count the time. Can I go see? Now, next time. Two and one not one. Flight to two reaches Jaipur at what time? Nine. And flight one starts at one not one starts at what? Eight. Today or tomorrow, eight or tomorrow, say. Now, very simple, everything is one hour less. It becomes 23, right? 23, 23 and a half, 27 and 8 and a half. Because instead of 8 o'clock, it is 9 o'clock. We have to reduce one hour layover time. That's all. 23, 23 and a half, 27 and then 8 and a half. Everybody, yes or no? Now, can I proceed? Next step. 3. Flight 3 reaches Jaipur at what time? 14.30. Means what? 2.30. One start at what time? 8 o'clock. Today is 2.30 to tomorrow morning 8 o'clock. How many hours are there? 17 and a half hours. Today is 2.30 to tomorrow morning 8 o'clock. 17 and a half hours. Now, 3 reaches Jaipur at 2.30. 1 or 2 starts at what? 8.30. How many hours? 18 hours. 2.30 to next day 12 o'clock. How many hours? 21 and a half hours. 2.30 to 12 o'clock. How many hours? 21 and a half hours. 2.30 to evening 5.30, how many hours is that? 27. Because it is not having a 5 hours gap. Okay, so it is going to be how many hours? 27. Today is 2.30 to tomorrow evening 5.30, 27 hours. Can I proceed or not? Next. 4. 4 reaches Jaipur at 7, 19.30 means evening 7.30. 19.30 to tomorrow morning 8 o'clock, the gap is 12 and a half hours. 19.30 to morning 8.30 is going to be 13 hours. 19.30 to tomorrow 12 o'clock will be 16 and a half hours. 19.30 to tomorrow 22, 17.30 will be 22 hours. That will be 22 hours. This is a layover time when the crew is based in Delhi. When the crew is based in Delhi. Everybody, are you comfortable or not? Can I proceed further? No, please. Just for me to later discuss, you please tell me the numbers once again. I will note it down. So, the crew is based in what? Delhi. Delhi. The flight numbers, I think it is 101, 102, 103, 104. And here it is 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, tell me the time here. What is the first time? You please, somebody 24. 24 and a half, 28, 28, 9 and a half, 23, 23 and a half, 27, 8 and a half, 17 and a half, 18, 21 and a half, 27. Next is what? Okay. So this is a layover time. In Delhi, respond yes or no? No. See, please, why you are talking? Next. The crew need not be in Delhi. I can appoint the crew from Jaipur also. Right or not? Right on. Next. Same type of table. Right on. Part 1 or part 2? Part 2. Part 2. Layover times when crew is based in Jaipur. Layover time when crew is based in Jaipur. Layover time when the crew is based in Jaipur. When the crew is based in Jaipur. Can I start over? Now. Again same 101, 102, 103, 104, 1, 2, 3 and then 4. 1, 2, 3 and then 4. I will discuss for one column, then we can do for the others together. Okay, now. Please don't write. All of you participate. Then we will be getting a grip for writing it. Okay. Now, tell me first. Okay. Now, I am in Delhi or Jaipur? Jaipur. Okay. Let's start with 101. I start in Jaipur and flight 101. When it reaches Delhi? 9.15. From Delhi, if I pair 1, when I will start from Delhi? 7 o'clock. Now, today 9.15. To what? Tomorrow 7 o'clock. What is the time gap? 21. 21. That is 21, 1 by 4, huh? 
Can I person or not? Now, please. Suppose, 101 I go 915 and a pair 2. It reaches Delhi at what? 915 and I start from Delhi at 8 o'clock. It should be today's 915 to tomorrow 8 o'clock. Should be the layover time. Respond. Yes or no? Now. I take 101, reach Delhi at 9.15. I return back by flight 3 at 1.30, 1.30. So 9.15 to 1.30 is 4 hours time is there, 5 hours time is there or not? No. I go for what? Next day 1.30. The distance is today's 9.15 to tomorrow's 1.30. Will be the layover time. Respond is or no. And last is, flight 101 reaches Delhi at 9.15 and 4 starts from Jaipur at what? 18.30 means 6.30. Today is 9.15 to evening 6.30. Will be the layover time for the first four pairings. Are you falling or not? Yes, sir. Yeah. I just want to get the confirmation. You tell me. Let us take flight 104. Let us take what? Flight 104. Tell me flight 104 reaches Delhi at what time? Yeah. If I return by flight 1, I start at what? Next day, how much, what time? 7 o'clock. If I fly flight 2, I start at what time? 8 o'clock. If I have flight 3, start at what time? Next day, 1.30. Flight 4, 4 means what? Next day, 18.30. Like that, one should calculate the layover time. Everybody, are you comfortable or not? No. So now, write down. 101, 102, 103, 104, 1, 2, 3, 4. Have you done the flight numbers or not? Now, I am going to write column wise. I am going to write what? Column wise. Okay. 101, 1. If I pair, tell me, what time minus what time? Today is 9.15 to tomorrow 7 o'clock. Tell me what the time? 21, 3 by 4. 21, 3 by 4. Today is 9.15 to tomorrow 8 o'clock. What the time? 22, 3 by 4. Are you understanding the numbers what I am saying or not? Now, today is 9.15 to tomorrow 1.30. What is that? 28, 1 by 4. Now, today is 1.30 is not possible because it is not having 5 hours gap. 28, 1 by 4. Today is 9.15 to tomorrow's, uh, today is 9.15 to today's 6.30 evening, 18.30, how many hours here it is? 9, 1 by 4. Today is 9.15 to today evening, 18.30 is 9, 1 by 4. Go to flight 102, flight 102. How to tell you? It is, uh, I think, half an hour less. You know, it reaches at what time? 9.45 and a half an hour less. Time it becomes what? 21, 1 by 4. Next, 22, 1 by 4. Then 27, 3 by 4. And then 8, 3 by 4. You know, that is 9.15. It is 9.45 and a half an hour. Just knock it off. It is 8, 3 by 4. Can I proceed? 1 or 3. 1 or 3 goes to Delhi at what time? 13.15. Afternoon, 1.15. And tomorrow, 7 o'clock. Today afternoon, 1.15. To tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock. What the distance here? 17, 3 by 4. Today 1.15 to tomorrow what time? 8 o'clock. Here's how much? 18, 3 by 4. Today 1.15 to tomorrow 1.30. Here's how much time here? 24, 1 by 4. One day and 15 minutes extra. 24, 1 by 4. Today 1.15 to today evening 6.30. How many hours time here? 5, 1 by 4. 5, 1 by 4. And tell me for 1 or 4. 1 or 4 reaches Delhi at what time? Evening 6.45. Evening 6.45 to next day morning 7 o'clock. What the layover time? 12, 1 by 4. Evening 6.45 to morning 8 o'clock. What the time? 13, 1 by 4. Evening 6.45 to next day 1.30 afternoon. What the layover time? 18, 3 by 4. Evening 6.45 to next day evening 6.30. How many hours? 23, 3 by 4. 23, 3 by 4. This is regarding the crew based in Jaipur. Crew based in Jaipur. Have you finished writing this or not? No. See, you have the crew based in Delhi in the first sheet and a crew based in what? Jaipur in the second part. Yes or no? No. See, I will ask you a question. Suppose I decide to pair 1 and 101. One. You know, 16 types of pairings possible. 4 by 4 matrix, na? combination, permutation, combination. This one, how many pairings possible? 16 pairings are possible. Respond, yes or no? No. In that case, suppose 1 and 101, one, I decide to pair. I decide to pair what? 1 and 101. One. For this pair of flights, going and coming with this pair, if I select my crew from Delhi, if I select my crew from what? Delhi, for them, what is the outstation staying time? 24 hours. 
But for this planning, if I select from Jaipur, one staying by outstation, 21, 1 by 4. If I want to do this planning, I'll have my crew in Delhi, huh? Jaipur, Jaipur. So the layout time is least of the two. Respond, yes or no? And a pairing, they given me the choice. Am I right or not? Now, for example, I'll ask you one more question. I want to pair 3 and 1 or 2. I want to pair what? 3 and 1 or 2. See this number or not? Now, 3 and 1 or 2, if I decide to pair, pair means what? Going and coming through this flight. If I decide to pair, and my crew is from Delhi, what is the layout time? 18 of us. If I select from Jaipur, what the time? 27, 3 by 4. For this pairing, if I want to decide, I'll select my crew from Delhi or Jaipur or Delhi. Like that, least of the two should be the mixed matrix. Are you following what I'm saying? And when you write the matrix, for every cell, in bracket write D or J, to indicate that for that pairing, if an assignment is made, you should also tell for that pairing where the crew should be appointed. Everybody follow what I'm saying? So every cell in bracket write D or J for us to identify. Respond, are you following or not? No. It is not for you to help me out in doing the calculation. Can I proceed up? No. Tell me. Mixed matrix, whichever is least. You tell me and then write this slide alone, then remain will be doing it together. Okay, tell and write. First of all, 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, now, 1 and 1, 0, 1, what is the Delhi layout time? 24. What is the Jaipur layout time? 21, 3 by 4. Which is lower? 21, 3 by 4. I select from what? Jaipur. Yes or no? Now, 1 and 1, 0, 2, what is Delhi over time? 24 and a half. Jaipur is what? Which is here, say, let's say, Jaipur. I select from what? Jaipur. 1 and 1 or 3, which is best? Delhi 28, Jaipur is? So, which is less than this? Jaipur. And 1 not 1 not 4, which is best? Or layout time? 9 and a half. In my slide, green city is what? Delhi. And pink city is what? Jaipur. Can I proceed or not? No. That's why the color has been given. Can I proceed or not? No. In exam, you don't have this facility of giving color and all. Okay. Not the school science lab, yes or no? In that case, what you can do is you can just write in your notebook 21 3 by 4 bracket right J. 21 1 by 4 bracket right J. If you want 9 and a half right bracket D. So that for any given assignment, we also know in which city we should select the given crew. Are you following not like that? Remaining also has been written. Please copy this slide quickly. Mix it whichever is best or least. Those not copy, raise your hand. <coughs> Please don't talk. Stop talking. Please. Shh. Shall I proceed up? Those are not copy, raise your hand. Shall I proceed? Now, please. Now, this is a balanced or unbalanced problem. Balanced. It is a balanced one, square matrix. Maximization or minimization? minimization? Because I have to minimize my layover time. It is a minimization, balance, assignment, sum. So we can straight away start with one row operations. Now, 
for convenience only what i am going to do is we have that uh, 21 3 by 4 21 by 4 and all you find every time difficult to subtract and write if it is a whole number i will be having a convenience in writing yes or no now for convenience say what i do is i say one fourth of an hour as one unit a unit of time is what? One fourth of an hour. Fifteen minutes is what? One unit. I take. One hour is how many units? Four units. For example, I have a number 21 3 by 4. What number? 21 3 by 4. 21 hours is equal to 21 into 4. How many days? 84 units. And 3 by 4 is what? Another 3. That gives you what? 87. Like that, one four, because the numbers are multiples of either 1 fourth, 1 say 1 by 2 and so on. A fraction of an hour, that is 1 fourth of an hour, I call as 1 unit of time. So that 21 3 by 4 hours, I call as how many units here? 87 units. For example, tell me, what is 9 1 by 2? 9 into 4, 30. You know, 1 hour, 4. 15 minutes are 4 units, 36. Half is what? 2. Gives you 38. Why I am doing is, even if you don't do it, you can just do the raw operation straight away. But every day I have to say, 21 by 4 minus 21, 3 by 4 and so on. It causes inconvenience. Yes or no? That's why I make the unit of a time, 1 fourth of an hour as 1 unit. And then have everything in whole number. So we can start the solution very easily. Everybody, yes or no? Now, write down. Next, part 2 or part 3? Yeah? Part 3, right? Part 3. Okay, right? Part 4. Please. Shh. Part 4. Converting the matrix into whole numbers. Converting the matrix into whole numbers. I want to avoid fractions. So, converting the matrix into whole numbers. Converting the matrix into whole numbers. Let one unit is equal to 1 by 4 hour. Let one unit is equal to 1 by 4 hour. For example, just once I will tell the example, remaining can be filled in. For example, 21 1 by 4 hours will be written as for example, 21 1 by 4 hours will be written as, 21 1 by 4 hours will be written as, 21 into 4, you know, 1 hour has got 4, 15 minutes or not, 21 into 4, plus what? 1. 21 into 4 plus 1 is equal to 85. Is equal to 85. That's an example, okay? Now, remaining, please copy this slide quickly. You should know how to do the remaining numbers. Copy this quickly. Finish coming up. Stop talking, please. Can you start or not? No. So, can we start doing the solution? Write down. Solving the problem using part 3 or part 4? Okay, sorry, part 5. Solving the problem using assignment steps. Now only we have brought the question to a stage where the Hungarian method can be applied. Okay, solving the problem using assignment steps. Solving the problem using assignment steps. We'll do it together. Okay, step 1. What is step 1? Row operation. This is going to be a long problem. So, first step is row operation. One or two issues also will crop up during the solution. Okay, step one, row operation. Okay, let's do it together. What the lowest number in the first row? Okay, everybody tell and write. I don't have the numbers. 87 minus 38. What is the number? What is the number here? 49. Right, one, you just write along with me. 87 minus 38, 49. Next number, 85 minus 38, 47. 87, 85 minus 38, 47. 71 minus 38, 33. 
71 minus 38, 33. 38 minus 38, 0. 38 minus 38 is 0. First row, have I finished writing or not? Now, second row, what the lowest number? 34. 91 minus 34, what the number? 57. 89 minus 34, 55. 89 minus 34, 55. 75 minus 34, 41. 75 minus 34, 41. 34 minus 34, 0. The least number is 70. 70 minus 70, 0. 72 minus 70, 2. 86 minus 70, 16. 75 minus 70, 5. Now, what the least number here? 21. 37 minus 21, 16. 35 minus 21, 14. 21 minus 21, 0. Okay, 88 minus 21, 67. Everybody following row operations or not? No. Please check my numbers also. Tell me the numbers once again. Row wise, tell me the numbers here it is. 49, 47, 33, 0. Next is what? 57, 55, 41, 0. 0, 2, 16, 5. <coughs> okay, now, tell me, should I perform column operation or not? Yes. yes. Because second column does not have a 0. In column operation, first column changes or no change? No change. Second column? Yes. Third column, no change. Fourth column, no change. Right on step two, column operation. Write from top to bottom. Column operation, please write from top to bottom. Okay, tell me. First column, you need not write the flight numbers and all unnecessarily. Okay, just write only the body of the matrix enough. We come back to that in the final solution. Okay, first column, the first column. 49, 57, 0, 16. No change. 49, 57, 0, 16. Second column, least number is what? 2. 47 minus 2, 45. 45 minus 2, 53. 2 minus 2, 0. 14 minus 2, 12. Third column, no change. 33, 41, 16, 0. 33, 41, 16, 0. Fourth column, no change. 0, 0, 5, 67. 0, 0, 5, 67. Can I push it or not? No. This is a column operation. Can I push it or not? No. Step 2 or step 3? Step 3. Before that, tell me the column operation matrix once again for checking. Tell me the column operation. What is the number? 49, 57, 0, 16. 45, 53, 0, 12. 33, 41, 16, 0. 0, 0, 5, 67. Everybody, can I push it or not? No. See. You should have concentration, track of what I am doing. Because steps are going to be monotonous. It will be somewhat two or two iterations will be minimum there. Can I say, I want to have one or two issues also discussed in between. So please do along with me. Don't be ahead of me. Can I say or not? Now, next is. Next step is to cover the zeros with what? Number of lines. Step two or step three? Yeah? Step three. Covering zeros with minimum number of lines. Covering zeros with minimum number of lines. Covering zeros with minimum number of lines. Everybody, can I start or not? No. Write the matrix once again, please. I'll read left to right. 49, 45, 33, 0. 49, 45, 33, 0. 57, 53, 41, 0. 57, 53, 41, 0. 0, 0, 16, 5. 0, 0, 16, 5. And then 16, 12, 0, 67. 16, 12, 0, 67. Now, can you start or not? Tell me. First, is there any row with four zeros? No. Yes or no? No. Is there any column with four zeros? No. Any row with three zeros? No. Any column with three zeros? No. Any row with two zeros? Yes. Which row? Yes. Is any column with two zeros? Yes. Which column? Four, last column. So rows also having two zeros, column also having what? Two zeros. Either draw against row or against column. It doesn't matter. Can I say it? Now I just draw against row. If you want, you can draw against what? Column. I don't deny it. Okay, draw against the row. Draw against the row. Tell me, is there any other row with two zeros? No. Any other row with two zeros? No. Any column with two zeros? Yes. Which column? Last column. I covered this. Is there any row or column with one zero? Yes. Which row? Last row. I just draw this. I just draw this. Tell me, is that a degeneracy or can I go for assignment? Degeneracy. Tell and then write. Tell me, what should I do? 
least uncovered number. Please don't write till and then write. What is the least uncovered number? What number is going to be? 33. Okay. Can you start doing it? Write down. Next step 3 or step 4? Huh? Step 4. Is number of zeros is equal to? Sorry, is number of lines is equal to order of matrix? That's what I meant. Is number of lines is equal to order of matrix? Good evening. Is number of lines is equal to order of matrix? Okay. Can I go see? Now, right now. Number of lines is equal to 3. Number of lines is equal to 3. Order of matrix is equal to 4 by 4. Number of lines is equal to 3. Order of matrix is equal to 4 by 4. Degeneracy exist. Degeneracy exist. Hence, do improvement. Degeneracy exist. Hence, do improvement. Hence, do improvement. Can I proceed? Now, step 4 or 5? Five? 5. Step 5, improvement 1. Step 5, improvement 1. We will do it together. What the least uncovered number? 30. And in exam, again I just want to pinpoint, you should say what you are doing. Least uncovered number? 33. I should add it to the intersection. Subtract from the others. Specify and write because they will know what you are doing. I think you are following up? No. I cannot do that for every sum here because you are doing the same chapter 8 or 9 sums. Right or not? No. Okay. What the least un uncovered number? 33. Start writing along me. 49 minus 33? 16. Right. Left to right, I am reading. Okay, 49 minus 33, 16. 45 minus 33, 12. 33 minus 33, 0. The 0 remains unchanged. Next, 57 minus 33, 24. 53 minus 33, 20. 41 minus 33, 8. 0 remains unchanged. 0, no change. 0, no change. 16, no change. And this number is what? 5 plus 33 gives you 38. 5 plus 33 gives you 38. 16, no change. 12, no change. 0, no change. 67 plus 33, 100. 7 plus 33, 100. Everybody respond, yes or no? Please, once again check my numbers. Now tell me what is the improved matrix? 16, 12, 0, 0. 24, 28, 0, 0, 0, 16, 38, 16, 12, 0, 100. Can I proceed or not? Now, step number 6. Covering zeros with minimum number of lines. Step 6. Covering zeros with minimum number of lines. Again, don't do ahead of me. Do everything along with me. Okay, covering zeros with minimum number of lines. Write the matrix again. 16, 12, 0, 0. 16, 12, 0, 0. 24, 20, 8, 0. 24, 20, 8, 0. 0, 0, 16, 38. 0, 0, 16, 38. 16, 12, 0, 100. 16, 12, 0, 100. 16, 12, 0, 100. Can I start drawing the lines or not? Now. Can you proceed? Tell me. Any row with four zeros? No. Everybody, yes or no? No. Any column with four zeros? No. no. Any row with three zeros? No. Any column with three zeros? No. Any row with two zeros? Yes. How many rows? Two rows. The first two row and the third row. Two rows having two zeros. Any column with two zeros? Yes. How many columns? No. Two columns with two zeros. I can draw again. That is third column and fourth column. Two columns with two zeros and two rows with what? Two zeros. Draw against row or column? Anyway, we can just draw. That is a process is draw against row or what? Column. Okay. I have drawn against the columns. I have drawn against the columns. Just a minute. You do what I say. I have a discussion to make. Draw against the columns. Third column and fourth column. And then is there any other column with two zeros? No. Any, any row with two zeros? Yes. Which row? Third row. Draw against the third row. Draw against the third row. Tell me how many zeros we have covered? How many lines I use? Three lines to cover all the zeros. Is zeros any exist or not? Yes. Now, just a minute. I will redo this once again. Please follow here. I want to make an observation. Okay. Okay. Can you read read the matrix once again for me? 
16, 12, 0, 0. Next is 24, 20, 1 person, 8, don't wait. Listen, next. Next is what? 0, 0, 38. Huh? Next. 0, Okay, now please. Any row with four zeros? No. Any column with four zeros? No. Any row with three zeros? No. Any column with three zeros? No. Please don't talk. Any row with two zeros? Yes. How many rows? Two, two rows. Any column with two zeros? Yes. yes. How many columns? Two, two columns. columns. We just decided to go for column. Yes or no? In exam, you can even decide to go for row. Possible? Yes. Sir. And tie is done. We can go for rows. Ask what? Columns. Suppose I draw against row. I draw against the first two row. And then what? Okay. Any other row with two zeros? No. Any column with two zeros? No. I have only row and column with what? One zeros. I cover like this. I cover like this. Are you following? Please. That means, had you made the choice otherwise, I made right choice. Why? I know the solution. Okay. Because I am able to cover with what? Three lines. Okay. But for you, there is equal probability that. Instead of drawing, covering the two zeros column wise, and cover the two zeros with what? Row wise, because for us both covers four zeros, right or not? Now, issue would be Now, in that case, here I would have covered using how many lines? Four lines. But I could have covered using how many lines? Three lines. If this mantis goes for assignment, can I make assignment up? No. Because when the degeneracy exists, I will not be having zero in one of the row or column to assign. Are you following? Huh? Yes or no? Now, if you want to check it also, I'll just do it here itself. Tell me, is there any row with one zero? Which row? This row. What I'll do? I make an allocation here. I cancel it. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Is there any row with one zero? Yes. Which row? First row. Okay, I make an assignment. I cancel this zero. Any row with one zero? No. But I have a column with one zero. Even go for column with one zero. I just allocate a column here. What do I do? Cancel here. The problem is I don't have zero here. That's what is or no. If you are able to cover it with three lines, but you cover it with what? Four lines. The solution will show the mistake to you. Are you following or not? Now the question is, sir, how can I know in the exam whether cover using three lines or four lines? Understand that this model is not a deterministic model, it is called as stochastic model. That is, there are two types of mathematical model everywhere. Okay. Deterministic means it will always work. It will always what? work. Stochastic means it is subject to probability. Most of the times the covering line steps will what? work. But sometimes it may not work also. It is a defect in the model itself. Are you following? Huh? So don't blame Hungarian persons and all. The reason is such a difficult simplex, he made it so simple, right or not? Now, whenever a difficult thing is made simple, always some lacuna will be there. Are you following? Huh? That is only happening here also. But there's nothing great deal. Exam always don't do the problem with suspicion, whether my line is what uh, correct or not. Normally, what you come to, uh, comes to your mind, what you do it. Please, I'll tell you what to do. What comes to your mind, you do. Don't every time check whether I would have drawn using what? Less number of lines and so on. Normally do it. Had you done like this, I'll say, had you done like this, next step you will not be having a, a zero to allocate, right or not? In that case, you should know that I could have covered using lesser number of zeros. So go to the previous step. Instead of selecting the row wise, go for one column wise. You will be getting the answer. That will not happen every time. Once in rarity, it may what happen. But don't worry about it for doing the exam. Always don't do anything in suspicion. Then you will never get an answer. Are you following not? Till now, so many problems you got it or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This problem particularly I just want included because the situation arises. In the So, from this what you understood, Suluba. Sometimes, while covering zeros, you may cover with what? More lines. Really could have been covered with what? Lesser lines. Even though you follow the procedure correctly. I don't argue for those person whose procedure is long. I'm saying even after following what procedure correctly, if you are using four lines, please. In that case, 
what you should do is it will show the mistake in the next step when you go for the assignment it will show the mistake come back to the previous step and then do the other alternative and then proceed okay or another alternative also is if you are very alert and confident now i have covered using four lines or not we made a choice there is a tie in zeros columns as well as what rows by rows i covered using four lines immediately in a rough way right in some place and tries whether in column it could be covered in what three lines if that is possible do it and change the answer everybody fall in not and all this will not take so much time because these are all simple processes will not take more than 30 to 30 seconds to one minute number right or not so this lacuna is that one should bear it and then do the problem everybody following not because you should not get disturbed when you do some other problem in the study middle etc where you are not getting the solution it may happen like this in spite of following the procedure i am not teaching wrong procedures i am taking whatever is that understand we should be grateful to any person don't always criticize why should be grateful such a difficult simple as in this problem i going to have how many constraints here 16 constraints oh, sorry 8 constraints how many constraints 8 constraints 16 variables such a difficult simplex is brought to what such a simple algorithm in that this one can tolerate for the simplicity purpose can i proceed or not now so now we are all very intelligent people first the first time we drawn what correctly can i proceed or not now right on next question no self appreciation can i proceed next right on step 4 or step 5 or step 6 i will dictate this as a note at the end of this sum. okay step Seven. Step seven. Write down. He is number of lines. Please don't talk. Step seven. Step seven. He is number of lines is equal to. He is number of lines is equal to order of matrix. He is number of lines is equal to order of matrix. Can I was it? Number of lines is equal to three. Number of lines is equal to 3. Order of matrix is equal to 4 by 4. Order of matrix is equal to 4 by 4. Number of lines is equal to 3. Order of matrix is equal to 4 by 4. Degeneracy continues. Degeneracy continues to further improvement. Degeneracy continues to further improvement. Do further improvement. Okay. One help you do me before the step or the previous step number. Okay, mark that step number seven because when I dictate notes, tell me the step number. Okay, so degeneracy continues to further improvement. Step number eight or nine? Uh? Step number? Now only you said this step is seven, yeah? This is six, uh, okay. The next is seven. Now step number eight. Eight? Uh? Now section number one, step number eight or not? Yes, write down step number eight. Okay, sure. Step number 8. Can you do it together or not? Tell me. What is the lowest uncovered number please? 12. Write down. First. 16 minus 12. Write along with me. Step number 8 is improvement 2. Give the heading improvement 2. Step number 8 improvement 2. Step number 8 improvement 2. Now start writing left to right row wise. 16 minus 12. 4. 16 minus 12. 4. 12 minus 12. 0. 0 remains unchanged. 0 remains unchanged. 24 minus 12, 12. 20 minus 12, 8. 8, no change. 0, no change. 8, no change. 0, no change. 0, no change. 0, no change. 16 plus 12 gives you 28. 16 plus 12, 28. 38 plus 12, 50. 38 plus 12, 50. 16 minus 12, 4. 12 minus 12, 0. 0, no change. 100, no change. 0, no change. 100, no change. Step 8 over and not now. Please check my numbers once again. Tell me the numbers here. It is 4, 0, 0, 0. 12, 8, 8, 0. 0, 0, 28, 50. 4, 0, 0, 100. Can I proceed to an exercise or not? Now. Step number 9. Covering zeros with minimum number of lines. Step 9. Covering zeros with minimum number of lines. Covering zeros with minimum number of lines. Write the matrix again. 
four zero zero zero. Left to right, I am dictating row wise four zero zero zero. Twenty eight eight zero. Stop talking, please. Twenty eight eight zero. Zero zero twenty eight fifty. Zero zero twenty eight fifty. Four zero zero hundred. Four zero zero hundred. Ma, can I proceed or not? No. Tell me, is there any row with four zeros? Yes or no? No. Let's solve by yes or no. No. Any column with four zeros? No. Any row with three zeros? Yes. Which row? First row. That's all. No. Any column with three zeros? Yes. yes. Which column? Second. We can either draw against the row or column. I went against the row. Nothing wrong if you go against the column also. I just gone against the row. Is there any other row with three zeros? No. Any column with three zeros? No. Any row with two zeros? Yes. Which row? Any column with two zeros? Yes. Which column? Second column. Either draw against row or column. I just draw against the row. If you want, you can also draw against the column. Not an issue. Any row with only one zero? Yes. Which row? Oh, sorry, sorry. So, how many rows are having two zeros? Two rows. How many columns are having two zeros? One column. So two rows are one column, two rows. Right. I should go for the rows. Third row and fourth row. Third row and fourth row. Please. Next. Any row with only one zero? Yes. Second row. Second row with having only one zero. Now, how many lines are there? Four lines. Can you go for assignment or not? Yes. Step nine or ten? Step ten. Is number of lines is equal to order of matrix? Is number of lines is equal to order of matrix? If number of lines is equal to order of matrix, number of lines is equal to four. Number of lines is equal to four. Order of matrix is equal to four by four. Number of lines is equal to four. Order of matrix is equal to four by four. There is no degeneracy. Proceed for assignment. There is no degeneracy. Proceed for assignment. Proceed for assignment. But can I proceed above? Now, next last step is what? Assignment. Okay. Now, write the matrix. 4000. 4000. 2880. 2880. 0028850. I am detecting once again 002850 four zero zero hundred four zero zero hundred okay can you stand or not now here also one interesting thing is that let us do when I just discuss it can I proceed now first tell me is there any row with one zero tell me yes or no which row second row which zero to assign this zero assign here cancel the zero above it please. Everybody, listen carefully. Is there any other row with one zero? Yes or no? No. If you don't have a row with one zero, next what you should check is a column with one zero. Yes or no? Yes. Because if I leave this zero, I don't have any other zero for this particular flight. Yes or no? In that case, if the rows are having multiple zeros, check whether any column having what one zero. Like that, you have to proceed. Can I proceed? Is there any column having one zero? Yes. Which column? First column. What I will do? Allocate in this particular zero. Allocate in this particular zero. Tell me, in this row, can I make any more allocation? No. What I should do? Cancel the zero to the right of it. Cancel the zero to the right of it. Now, please. Yes or no? First thing we learned is, if the rows are having multiple zero, at least check whether columns are having one zero. Make an assignment there. Now my question is, is there any row with one zero? Answer. Any column with one zero? That means we have multiple zeros to choose from. Yes or no? That means. Choosing any zero will give you the same final layover time answer, right or not? Yes, That means the problem has got more than one solution, multiple optimal solution. Respond, yes or no? Yes, In linear programming problem, when you have multiple optimal solution. When a non-basic variable is having what zero as a value in the NER, by introducing that as basic variable, the profit does not change. It is said to be having what multiple optimal solution. How to identify that in the assignment? Yeah, when I have more than one zero to choose from, in that case, either choose this zero 
that gives you one assignment choose the other zero that gives you one another assignment but both assignment the ultimate final total will be what same number only it is said to be having a multiple optimal solution are you following or not no we'll write both the solutions can i go say now no tell me i can either select this zero or this zero i select this zero okay next time we'll select this zero okay don't worry i'll select this zero okay now when i select this zero tell me can i make any more allocation in this particular column no what i should do cancel this zero can i make any more allocation in this row no cancel the other zero that is the cell should not have any other zero in its row as well as what column so i cancel the zero to the right i cancel the zero to the bottom respond is all no now tell me any other row or column with only one zero yes obviously what row number four row number four please up to this, do you have the clarity or not? Now, write down final solution. Final solution. Okay. Before you write, you tell and then we can just write it. Final solution. Tell me the pairing. One and what should be paired? One or two. Two and what? One or four. Three and? One or two. Four and? And. When you pair, the layout time is that in what? The matrix. Calculate in part 2 or part 3 as the case may be. And we also know the city. We have written in what? Brackets. Whether it's J or D as the case may be. Can I proceed or not? It is for you to look and tell me because I don't have the numbers. Can I proceed? No. I don't final solution. Flight number 1, 2, 3, 4. Final solution. Flight number 1, 2, 3, 4. The paired flight number is what? 1 or 2, 1 is paired with 1 or 2, 2 is paired with what? 1 or 4, 3 with 1 or 2 and 4 with 1 or 3, 1 or 2 and then 1 or 3. Now, you can look at the third part, mixed matrix we had. If you remember, yes or no, we have look at the third part, mixed matrix. First part is crew in Delhi, second part is what? Crew in Jaipur and third part we had a mixed matrix or not? Please look at that and tell me, 1 and 1 or 2, what is the place they are recommending? Tell me. Jaipur. 2 and 1 not 4? Delhi. 2 and 1 not 4? Delhi. 3 and 1 not 1? Delhi. 4 and 1 not 2? Jaipur. Next is layover time. Yellow time is layover time here. What is 1 and 1 not 2 layover time? 21, 1 by 4. Layover time is 21, 1 by 4. 2 and 1 not 4, what the layover time? 8, 1 by 2. Layover time is 8, 1 by 2. 3 and 1 not 2, what the layover time? 17 and a half. 4 and 1 or 3 it is 5 1 by 4. 5 1 by 4. If I total, I will be getting 52 and a half hours is a total layover time. 52 and a half hours is a total layover time. Everybody, are you comfortable or not? Now, is this the only solution? No. There exists one alternate solution because it chose from two zeros. Yes or no? I can even make allocation in the other zero. So we can go for the alternate solution. Write down alternate solution or alternate assignment. Alternate assignment. I will do that in the sheet. You help me with the numbers. Alternate assignment. Okay. Let us write the matrix together. Tell me the matrix here. Four. 0, 0, 0. Next is what? 12, 8, 8, 0. Next is? 28, 28 and then 50. Last. Okay. This is the matrix. Can you start making assignment or not? Tell me. Is there any row with 1, 0? Yes. Which row? Second row. I am making allocation here. I am making allocation here. What I should do? Cancel the zero above it. Is there any row with only one zero? So my yes or no? No. Any column having only one zero? Yes. Which column? First column. Where should I allocate? Allocate here. What should I do? Cancel the zero to the right. Is there any row with only one zero? No. Is there any column with only one zero? No. I have multiple zeros to choose from. Yes or no? Last time we chose this zero. I don't know. This time can I choose the other zero or not? Yes. I'll make a selection here. Allocate in this particular zero. Can I make further allocation downwards? No. Can I make allocation in this zero? No. So the final allocation should be in this particular place. I make an allocation. 
allocate in this particular cell. Okay. Shall I proceed further? No. We should write the final solution now? No. Flight number 1, 2, 3, 4. Flight number 1, 2, 3, 4. I want the paired flight number. 1 is paired with what? 1 or 3. 2 is paired with 1 not 4. 3 is paired with 1 not 1. 4 is paired with 1 not 2. Okay. Next. Place. 1 and 1 not 3. What should be the place? Jaipur. Second case. What the place? Next is what? Delhi. Third. 3 and 1 not 2. And the place is? Delhi. 4 and 1 not 2? Jaipur. 4 and 1 not 2. The place is Jaipur. I want the layover time. 1 and 1 or 3, tell me what is the layover time, please? 17? 17, 3 by 4. 2 and 1 or 4? 8, 1 by 2. 3 and 1 or 2? 17, 1 by 2. 4 and 1 or 2? 8, 3 by 4. Total? 52, 1 by 2. There exists another pairing that gives me what? Same minimum level type. So the problem is having more than one good solution. Said to be having multiple optimal solution. Everybody, are you having the clarity or not? Or have you all copied along with me or not? No. Let's make one or two observations as notes which I have made in this sum before I go for the last sum. Okay, now. Finished writing or not? Write down notes. Write down notes. Please. In step 6, am I right or not? Correct, Abba. In step 6, please. Last time you confused me, I just said it right. Correct, Abba. Now I correctly pinpoint in step 6. Step 7 is number of lines is equal to order of matrix. Yeah, correct, Abba. Now, right, step 6. Correct, Abba. Now, right, step 6. In step 6, In step 6, we had, in step 6, we had two rows with two zeros. In step 6, we had two rows with two zeros. In bracket right, row 1 and row 3. We had two rows with two zeros. In bracket right, row 1 and row 3 and bracket close and two columns with two zeros and two columns with two zeros I think it's column three column four and two columns with two zeros column three column four continue as per the procedure as per the procedure since there is a tie, as per the procedure, since there is a tie, we can draw either against columns, since there is a tie, we can draw either against the columns or against the row. We can draw either against the columns or against the rows. We can draw either against the columns or against the row. Did you understand the first point or not? Next, point number two. We decided to draw against columns. We decided to draw against the columns. And ultimately covered, and ultimately covered all the zeros with and ultimately covered all the zeros with how many lines? Three lines. And ultimately covered all the zeros with three lines. Full stop. Had we chosen rows, same point you continue, had we chosen rows, had we chosen rows, we would have covered using, we would have covered using we would have covered using how many lines? Four lines. We would have covered using four lines. This is, 
this is a small drawback in the procedure. It is a small drawback in the procedure. It is a small drawback in the procedure. I want to highlight this lacuna. Hence it has been what? Discussed. It is for you to manage it. Okay. Either if you are drawn against four lines, then you can also check that itself. Is it possible to go for the column and cover using three lines? Or if you are not wanting to check it, go to the next stage. You will not be able to make the assignment. Come back previous and also do the rectification. Can I push it or not? No. Next point number two or three or four. Or point number three. In the final assignment, in the final assignment, we had, we had two zeros to choose from. In the final assignment, we had two zeros to choose from. In the final assignment, we had two zeros to choose from. That is cell, that is cell 1 comma 1 or 2, that is cell 1 comma 1 or 2 or what? Cell 1 comma 1 or 3. I had a choice to be made here or not? 1 comma 1 or 2 or 1 comma 1 or 3. Full stop. Either cell if we choose, we will get, either cell if we choose, we will get, either cell if we choose, we will get the same minimum layover time. Either cell if we choose, we will get the same minimum layover time. The same minimum layover time. Thus, the problem is having, thus, the problem is having, what solution? Multiple optimal solution. Thus, the problem is having, Multiple optimal solution. Multiple optimal solution. I want to respond. Everybody, are you following the sum or not? With this, we have completed solution to question number 6. The last problem to be done is question number 7. It is a sequencing problem. The problem is called a sequencing problem done using assignment. That is, in OVA, there is a separate chapter called a sequencing. In that, one of the way of doing sequencing is using an assignment algorithm. Above that, we will be discussing in question number 7 called as traveling salesman problem. Okay, take question number 7. Don't talk, please. Shall I start or not? No. Shall I start on? A traveling salesman has to visit five cities. Have you taken the page? Huh? Which question? Okay. Traveling salesman has to visit five cities. He wishes to start from a particular city, visit city, visit each city once. Make a visit each city once. And return to his starting point. Make a small change. We should start from a particular city. Visit each city once. Make add a word here. Visit each city once. And return to the starting point. The travelling cost for each city from a particular city is given below. Please. City A to B if you go. What the travelling cost? 4. A to C. What the travelling cost? 7. A to D, what is the travelling cost? 3. A to E, what is the travelling cost? 4. B to A, travelling cost? 4. B to C, 6. And so on, they have given you the travelling cost. Respond, yes or no? 
what is the sequence of visit of the salesman so that the traveling cost is minimum? That's a question. Okay, now let's start answering this. First of all, they have put some into 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 or some x x x x in what these cells? Why yeah? Now A to A, I cannot travel. Get up. Yeah, right or not? No. I am standing here. I cannot travel to the same place. I have to go only to the next place. So no. A to A, B to B, C to C, D to D. Travel not possible. Yes or no? No travel, no traveling car. Assignment should not make a allocation here. Right or not? These cells are called as what cell? Prohibited cell. What car should be assigned? M. Because assignment will, will not know that I cannot travel from A to A. We only should do what? Educate it. Are you following? Yeah? In that case, X, 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 wherever the cells are prohibited, in that cell put water, yeah, yeah, very high cost, why not minus M, minimization, you have to put a high cost M and start doing the solution, everybody falling or not, no, see, this is first a normal assignment sum, where to minimize what, travel cost, up to this we know, but one extra condition is that, we should form a loop, we should form what, loop, from A, suppose it starts from city A, he go A to C, then he goes for C to D, D to B, B to A, like that one full circle should be what form, our assignment should ensure not only minimum cost, it ensures that he starts from a particular place, after travelling through what other city, he should come back to what same place, there should be a full circle that should be happening in the assignment, are you following or not? So is it a normal assignment problem or assignment with a sequencing? As you know, sequencing because we should not only tell which city to which city you should be traveling, you should also say what? You should also form a loop or a sequence and that should give us a minimum cost is a question all about. Are you following or not? No. In this, I am not going to worry about sequencing or looping and all at the beginning. Let us do this as what? Normal assignments. Once I get the final solution, I will tinker that solution to enable me to form what a loop. If at all it is not formed in the first instant itself, are you following or not? So, majority, I do the problem only as what? Assignment. Last step alone, we don't have a procedure through observation. We should try to create what? Loop and conclude the sum. Everybody, can I proceed or not? So, now, can we do the solution together? Huh? No. Write down. Question number 7. Part 1, question number 7, part 1, assigning M2 prohibited cells, question number 7, part 1, assigning M2 prohibited cells, assigning M2 prohibited cells, can I start on now? now. Please tell me the matrix, everybody, M4, need not write A, B, C, D, E, etc. We can write the body of the matrix, enough. Tell me what the matrix is, all of you together. M4734, write M4734, 4M634, 4M634, 76M75, 76M75, 337M7. 337M7 4457M 4457M Write down note. There is no travel possible from A to A. Write note. There is no travel possible from A to A, comma, B to B. From A to A, B to B, C to C, D to D and E to E. There is no travel possible from A to A, B to B, C to C, D to D and E to E. Hence, these cells are, hence these cells are what cell? Prohibited cells. Hence, these cells are prohibited cells. And a very high penalty M imposed on it. These cells are prohibited cells. And a very high penalty M is imposed on it. 
Can you tell me what is the numerical value of the M? Infinity. A very high penalty M is imposed on it. In some books, instead of M, they put it as one. Infinity. So it's difficult to write. Everybody puts as one M. Can you put it or not? No. Next. Part 1 or part 2? Two? Part 2. Before, tell me the maximization or minimization? <laughs> balance, unbalance? Balance. Right on. Still, part 2. Solving the above problem using assignment steps. Solving the above problem using assignment steps. We will do it together. Okay. Solving the above problem using assignment steps. Step 1. What is step 1? Row operations. Do along with me. Step 1 is row operations. Left to right we are reading. Okay. Tell me. What is the least number in the first row? 3. Tell me. M minus 3? M. Okay. M. 4 minus 3? 1. 7 minus 3? 4. 3 minus 3? 0. 4 minus 3? 1. Writing along with me or not? Now. Second row. What the least number in the second row? 3. 4 minus 3? 1. M minus 3? M. 6 minus 3? 3. 3 minus 3? 0. 4 minus 3? 1. Third row. What the least number? 5. 7 minus 5? 2. 6 minus 5? 1. M minus 5? M. 7 minus 5? 2. 5 minus 5? 0. Least number in the next row is what? 3. 3 minus 3, 0. 3 minus 3, 0. 7 minus 3, 4. M minus 3, M. 7 minus 3, 4. Last row, what is least number? 4. 4 minus 4, 0. 4 minus 4, 0. 5 minus 4, 1. 7 minus 4, 3. M minus 4, M. Row operation has been completed. Thus point, everybody following or not? No. The next step is what? Okay. Now, please check my numbers. Tell me the numbers here. M, 1, 4, 0, 1. Just to confirm what you written is also correct or not. Next is what? 1, M, 3, 0, 1, 2, 1, 3, M, 2, 0. Next is what? 0, 4, M, 4, 0, 0, 1, 3, M. The row operation. Next step is what? Column operation. Should I perform column operation or not? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. First column is having zero, no change. Second column is having zero, no change. But third column is not having one, zero. I should perform. Right or not? Now write down step two, column operation. Step two, column operation. Step two, column operation. I am reading top to bottom column wise. Please remember the first column. Any change or no change or no change. M1200. 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 Second column. 1M100. 1M100. The least number is 1 for third column. Now 4 minus 1, 3. 3 minus 1, 2. M minus 1, M. 4 minus 1, 3. 1 minus 1, 0. Remaining two columns unchanged. 0, 0, 2, M3. 0, 0, 2, M3. 1, 1, 0, 4, M. 1, 1, 0, 4, M. 1, 1, 0, 4, M. Can I proceed up? Now, please, once again, check my numbers. Tell me the column numbers. First column. M1, 2, 0, 0. Next column is what? 1, M, 1, 0, 0. Third is 3, 2, 3, 0. Next is what? 0, 0. Next. Others, what are you doing? Say something. So that I will be having a conviction that you are all awake. Yes or no? No. Next. Step 2 or step 3? Yeah? Step 3. Covering zeros with minimum number of lines. Covering zeros with minimum number of lines. Covering zeros with minimum number of lines. Can I start down? No. Write the matrix once again. M1301. M1301. 1M201. Left to right I am reading. 1M201. 21M20. 21M20. 003M4. 
0, 0, 0, 3, yeah. Can you start up? Now, is there any row with 5 zeros? Everybody, yes or no? no. All of you. Any column with 5 zeros? No. no. Any row with 4 zeros? No. Any column with 4 zeros? No. Any row with 3 zeros? Yes. Which row? Last row. Any column with 3 zeros? No. I will draw against the last row. Just draw line against the last row. Now, any row with 2 zeros? Yes. Which row? The fourth row. Any column with 2 zeros? Yes. yes. Which column? I can draw against the row or column. I just draw against the row. It doesn't matter if you draw against the row or column. We just chosen what? Row. Now, is there any other row with two zeros? No. Any column with two zeros? Yes. Which column? The fourth column. Draw the line against the fourth column. Any row or column with one zero? Yes. Which row? Third row or fifth column. I just draw against the third row. The zero has been covered. I want an answer. How many lines are used? Four. What order of the matrix? Five. D generous is there or not? Yes. Write down step three or four. Step four is number of lines is equal to order of matrix. Is number of lines is equal to order of matrix. Is number of lines is equal to order of matrix. Unlike that. Number of lines is equal to four. Number of lines is equal to four. Order of matrix is equal to 5 by 5. Number of lines is equal to 4. Order of matrix is equal to 5 by 5. Degeneracy exists. Do improvement. Degeneracy exists. Do improvement. Shall I start or not? Now. Next step number. Five. Step number 5, improvement 1. Step number 5, improvement 1. Please tell along with me and write because uh, it may be irritating for you but for my confirmation that class is alive. Okay, now tell me what is the least uncovered number? 1. Now, start writing. M minus 1, M. 1 minus 1, 0. 3 minus 1, 2. 0, no change. 1 minus 1, 0. Next, 1 minus 1, 0. M minus 1, M. 2 minus 1, 1. 0, no change. 1 minus 1, 0. 2, no change. 1, no change. M, no change. 2 plus 1, 3. 0, no change. Doing along with me or not? Next, 0, no change. 0, no change. 3, no change. M plus 1 is M. 4, no change. 0, no change. 0, no change. 0, no change. 3 plus 1, 4. And M, no change. Can I proceed or not? No. Next, write down. Covering 0 with Step number 4 or 5 or 6? Huh? Step number 6. Covering 0 with minimum number of lines. Covering zeros with minimum number of lines. Covering zeros with minimum number of lines. Okay. Can you write the matrix once again? Tell me the matrix once again. What is the number here? M. M. Zero. I just read from left to right. Okay. What is the number? M. Zero. Two. Zero. 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 zero M. One. Zero. Zero. Two. two one. M. Three. Zero. 0, 0, 3, M, 4, 0, 0, 0, 4, M. Have you all finished writing the matrix or not? Everybody, yes or no? Now, tell me once again. Any row with 5 zeros? No. Any column with 5 zeros? No. Any row with 4 zeros? No. Any column with 4 zeros? No. Any row with 3 zeros? Yes. Count it, please. First row is having 3 zeros. Second row is having 1, 3 zeros. Last row is having three zeros. The three rows with three zeros. Keep in mind. Yes or no? Now, columns with three zeros? Yes. First column is having three zeros. Second column is having three zeros. Last column is having three zeros. Three rows with three zeros and three columns with three zeros. Either rows or column. Is the procedure says. I think you are following or not? No. So, I will just draw against the column. You can even draw against what? Row. Nothing wrong. I just draw against the first column. Second column, last column. 
first column, second column and then last column. There is nothing wrong even if you draw against what? Rows. Now, next tell me, is there any other row or column with three zeros? No. Is there any row with two zeros? Yes, so by no two zeros? No. Any column with two zeros? Yes. Which column? The fourth column. We have only row or column with one zero and drawn against this particular column. Drawn against this particular column. Tell me, is degeneracy there or not? No. In this case, sometimes if you are having a doubt, I don't have a doubt because I know the solution. Because we chose, we have chosen what? Column. We call it five lines or not? Now, you may have a doubt. Sir, had I chosen using what? Rows. Could I have covered using what? Four lines. You check it before you go for what? Next assignment. Don't check it in the main solution in the examination. Check it as a rough and then strike it up. Are you following or not? Now, in this you can believe me that that will also cover only using how many lines here? Five lines. Why? I know the answer. Can I put it or not? Now, next. Step number five, six or seven? Step number seven. Is number of lines is equal to order of matrix? Please. Don't talk. Is number of lines is equal to order of matrix? Is number of lines is equal to order of matrix? Can we start up now? Number of lines is equal to 5. Number of lines is equal to 5. Order of matrix is equal to 5 by 5. Number of lines is equal to 5. Order of matrix is equal to 5 by 5. No degeneracy. No degeneracy. Proceed for assignment. No degeneracy. Proceed for assignment. Proceed for assignment. I hope everybody comfortable or not. No. Next step number eight. Okay. Step number eight. Assignment. Write the matrix again. Step number eight. Assignment. Write the matrix again. Please. Left to right, don't do the assignment. First, write it. We'll do it together. Okay. Step number eight. Copy the matrix again. Finish with the matrix or not? Now, let's start doing first. Tell me, is there any row with one zero? All of you, please tell me. Yes, which row? Third row. Allocate in this particular zero. Allocate here. See this zero. I allocate here. Cancel the zero above it. Please, all of you do with me. Can zero above it. Answer my question. Is there any row with one zero? Please answer. Any row with one zero? No. Rows having multiple zeros. Any column with one zero? Yes. Which column? Third column. Where should I allocate? In this zero. Okay, if I miss this zero, I don't have another zero to allocate now. Allocate in this zero. What I should do to the zero to the left of it here? Cancel it. Cancel the zero to the left of it. Now, my question is, is there any row with one zero? Please answer. No. Any column with one zero? No. no. That means yeah, what solution? Multiple optimal solution. Obviously, if it is a normal assignment, some SO no, anywhere if you want to allocate the zeros. All zeros are equally good to be what? Allocate. Now. Suppose I allocate in this zero, no pattern, very simple, this zero is that, this is that, this is that, this is that, this is that, six zeros are there or not? Six zeros are any one zero can be what? Allocated. Suppose I allocate in this zero, allocate in this zero. Just only a random selection, that's all. Then what I should do? Cancel the zero above it. Please cancel the zero to the left of it. Now tell me, any row with one zero? Yes. Which row? First row. Where to allocate? Here. What should I do before the zero below it? Cancel it. You know with only one zero? Yes. Make an allocation here. Make an allocation here. Respond. Are you following or not? No. I'll write the final solution for the assignment problem. Can I or not? Write down. Next. Step eight or step nine? Step, step nine. nine. Final solution as an assignment problem. Step nine. Final solution as an assignment problem. Final solution as an assignment problem. Final solution as an assignment problem. Can I start or not? No. You should tell me the answer here. One, two water, city going here. Okay, write down. City A, B, C, D, E. 
city A, B, C, D, E. You have the, in the notebook, the table, I don't have the slide. You have to tell me, A is assigned which city? B. Why can't A be assigned to A? Prohibited cell. This is what? Prohibited cell. The assignment algorithm will never, if it assigns, then what? Suppose A is assigned to A, if it assigns, then what? It is infeasible solution. Last class discussed, yeah. Now, B is assigned which city? D. B assigned D. C is assigned. D is assigned. E is assigned. C. Okay, now the cost. A to B when I travel, what the cost? 4. B to D when I travel, what the cost? 3. C to E when I travel, what the cost? 5. D to A when I travel, what's the cost? And E to C when I travel, what's the cost? 5. The total cost is 20. That's the minimum cost as per the assignment solution. The cost is 20. Now, listen here. This is not the solution I want. In the first observation. This is not the solution I want. I'll tell you why. Please, listen here. All of you carefully follow what I'm saying. I am now standing in which city? A. I stop which city? Yeah, I stand in what city? A. From A, I walk to which city? A. Now I am in which city? B. A. From B, I go to which city? B. I am now in which city? D. A. From D, I come back to what city? A. A. So, A to B, B to D, D to A, I have formed a loop without visiting C and E. Yes or no? That is a separate loop called as what? C and E is formed. That is not my criteria. All cities should be what? Covered. And I should come back to the same city. Is a condition for sequencing. Are you following? Huh? Yes, this is an assignment problem. But does not satisfy what? The sequencing condition. Everybody following or not? Now, once again tell me. I am now in city A. Where I go? A. I am now in city B. Where I go? A. 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 Don't say A, B, C like school children. Yeah, look at that and tell me. Now. Till you say correctly, I won't leave you. I am now in city A. Where you go? I am now in city B. Where you go? I am now in D. Where you go? A. I have come back to A without traveling to what? C A. and A. Now C to E, E to C is what? Another loop form. That is not my issue. Yes or no? Yes, and, uh, when I come back to A, I will not be there in the C. Yeah, correct? Yes, then I have to once again travel from what? A yes. to C. That is not possible here. It is not assignment solution. Are you follow what I am saying? In that case, I should ensure a single loop and also a minimum cost. That is my aim. It's all known. But if this minimum cost could not be achieved, at least with few extra costs, I should ensure a loop because it is not an assignment sum alone. It is also what? A sequencing problem also. Where the cost can be sometimes what? More because of a condition to form a loop. Are you following or not? Now. Let me go for the next discussion. See, my problem is the smaller loop CEC. This loop is forming or not? This loop should not be formed, right or not? How in country small parties are all formed creates hung assembly, right or not? Correct? So, we should prevent what? Okay, hung assembly, right? Yeah, okay, that's a fast way of saying it. So, in that case, the small loop or I should break, okay? I am not breaking parties here. Yeah? I am breaking only what? A loop here. Okay. The small loop should be what? A broken and made it to merge with what? A bigger loop so that a single loop can be formed. Are you following? Huh? Now, see, my main worry is A, B, D, A is to some extent okay. Yes or no? That is a long thread. Okay. What is hanging separately? Yeah? That is my problem. That is my what problem? That C is the loop should be broken. It is a abnormal kootani. Why it is what? Uh, something against me. The C is should be what? Broken. So that I can merge it to what? Uh, a, B, D, A, that big globe. How to do it is the issue. Are you following that? No. One thing is sure. C should not be given to E. Then E will come back to what? C. The loop should be broken or not? Now look at this. I put the previous assignment slide. Okay. Okay. Now. I have now decided that C should not be given to E. Right yes, now look at this. If C should not be given to E, other first allocation, right? Yes, yes or no? Now that means this zero I should not allocate now. That means in this row, what the next to lower cell? One. I am forced to allocate in that one. Are you following? 
my cost will not be 20 it will go up by what 1 rupee extra because uh, the cell is 1 rupee higher than what efficient zero cell are you following what i'm saying or? but the cost will go up to what 21 but still i can create a loop with this are you following or now listen here i should not give c to e inside give c to what b and then from that let me see what is going to happen further can i start making assignment once again or not now see this is a old solution and i discussed this the assignment should form a loop loop would ensure the terminal point and the starting point are same in the initial basic solution two loops are formed for a total cost of 20 whereas the problem precondition is to form a single loop therefore improvement is to be sought right or not now what should you do break the smaller loop be, say bigger party difficult to break smaller party what easy to break break a smaller loop c e c that is do not assign against zero in row c in first iteration in the second lowest value is one shall be assigned to that column against column b the overall cost is likely to exceed marginally but the sequential condition is what complied is the issue are you following or not now please all of you participate now is a any row with one zero answer yes which row third row with zero this zero in this cell can i allocate or i should not allocate should not i made a decision that i will not give c to e get up so what I will do, the next cell is what? 1. I made allocation here. Cancel the 0 because in this column, no more allocation, no. Cancel the 0 above that. Cancel the 0 below that. Cancel the 0 below that. And also cancel what? 0 to the right of it. Is the first allocation made. Are you following on? Yes, we will copy later. Can I proceed further? Now, next. Now, routine. Tell me, is there any row with 1, 0? Answer. Yes, sir. Which row I am? I just have I, I also have a column with one zero. Sorry, the animation changes. Okay. Anyway, I can just make. Is there any column with one zero? Yes. Which column? Third column. I make an allocation here, cancel the zero here. Now I come back here. Is there any row with only one zero? Yes. This row. Where I can make allocation? This allocation. Cancel the zero there. Everybody, are you following or not? No. Up to this, it is natural. Up to this what? Natural. Now I have zero to choose from. Yes or no? Don't choose blindly any one of the four zeros carefully follow now. Now, tell me, first of all, I can either choose this zero or what? This zero. If I choose this zero, it is A to D. Get up. See in this, if I choose here, it is going to be what? A to D. I come back from what? D to A. Smaller loop form there. Correct? Yes or no? I have this zero or this zero to choose from or not. If I choose this zero, I am allocating A to what? D. Then I am already allocated what? D to A. That is a natural allocation. Are you following what I am saying? In that case, smaller group formed or not? No. That means, can I allocate to this particular zero or not? Yes. I allocate to the other zero. Cancel the zero to the bottom, zero to the left. I allocate in this particular zero. Are you following up? No. Tell me, A to which city? E. Now, E to what? C. C to what? B, B to what? D. D, D to what? A. The loop has been formed. Yes or no? The cost is 20, extra one, extra one to be, it becomes what? 21. Shall I proceed now? Copy the solution now. So I repeat once again? Huh? Okay. You first copy this. I'll do it once again along with you in the next stage. Okay. Now, if I'm right, up to the finish copying, I don't know. Now, step 8 or 9 or 10 now? Step 10. I think you are not making me repeat to buy time. Right? I have to start transportation today. Yeah? Okay, now, please. Okay, don't show it right now. Step number 8 or 9? Nine? 9. Step number 10. Looping condition. Right now, looping condition. Don't talk. Huh? Finish copying up. Huh? It's a big slide. A, B, D, A, C, A, C. Font says big slide, small. Can I go see? No. <laughs> see, I follow tax provision, set off and carry forward. Extra time taken here will be reducing the time in the next slide. Can I go see or not? No. Copy fast. Dictator, okay, right now. <laughs> Note, same point you continue. Note, the assignment should form a loop. The assignment should form a loop. 
the loop should ensure that just make a small change the loop should ensure that the terminal point and starting point are same the loop should ensure that the terminal point and starting point are same the terminal point and starting point are same in the initial solution in the initial solution two loops were formed in the initial solution two loops were formed for a total cost of 20 two loops were formed for a total cost of 20 whereas the condition is to form whereas the condition is to form a single loop whereas the condition is to form a single loop therefore improvement should be made therefore improvement should be made okay stop up to this step tell me the next step number is what 10 11 11 right, step number 11 i'll put the second part in the next step step number 11 improved solution when I say improved, I am not improving on cost, I am improving on what? Looping condition. Okay, improved solution. Break the smaller loop CEC. Break the smaller loop CEC. That is, do not assign against zero. Break the smaller loop CEC. That is, do not assign against zero in row C. That is, do not assign against zero in the row C. In the row C. Bracket la first iteration. That's the first assignment you are making now. In bracket right, first iteration. Bracket close. Instead, instead, the second lowest value, instead, the second lowest value of 1 shall be assigned. Instead, the second lowest value of 1 shall be assigned. That comes against column B. The second lowest value of 1 shall be assigned. That comes against column B. All this we can see in the next slide. Okay, The overall cost is likely to exceed marginally the overall cost is likely to exceed marginally the overall cost is likely to exceed marginally but sequencing is satisfied but sequencing is satisfied but sequencing is satisfied now can i push it or not but sequencing is satisfied now Write the last matrix once again. Now I'm going to make an assignment once again. Okay. M0200. Last matrix. M0200. 0M100. 0M100. 21M30. 21M30. 003M4. 003M4. 004M 004M Can I proceed or not? Now tell me first Is there any row with only one zero first? Do normally what row? Third row Which is zero? This zero This cell should I allocate or I should not allocate? Should not I decided to break C, E, C Yes or no? That means C should I allocate what? E In this row what the next lowest number? One Everybody now are you following? Uh, those not followed earlier Make allocation in this one then allocation in this one. What should I do? Cancel the zero to the bottom, top, and right. Cancel the zeros to the top, bottom, and then right. Can I proceed up now? Any row or column with one zero? Uh, we had a row fourth row with one zero, third column with what? One zero. I went for a column, not an issue. I went for this third column is having only one, one zero. If I miss this zero, there is no other zero in that column, yes or no? So I make an allocation here. The allocation is this. Allocation is this. 
Can I make an allocation here? No. Do a cancellation here. All these are routine. They normally gets allocated. Okay. Is there any row or column with one zero? Yes. Which row? Fourth row. I make an allocation here. I make an allocation here. Cancel the cell above it. Now, up to this, everybody following that. What is small change? C did not be allocated to E. Allocated to what? B, that's all. Remaining line allocated with the row or column with only one zero. Can I was or not? Now, last stage. C. You are confronted with four zeros to allocate. In my son, no. Now, in that, I don't need to make so many decisions. If you allocate this zero, this will be the next allocation. If you allocate this zero, this will be the next allocation. So I have to choose either between this zero or that zero. That is a fourth row or a fourth column or fifth column. Now, all of you listen. If I allocate to the fourth column zero, are you seeing the zero or not? In that case, I am allocating A to what? D. Then the D is allocated to A already. A small loop is formed. Right or not? To avoid that, I allocate A to the E. Make an allocation here. Cancel the 0 to the left and 0 to the bottom. Okay. One more 0 left out is what? This 0. This is the last 0 left out. In the And here no trick and all. Only observation. One should be very alert in doing the sum. That's all. Okay. Finally. Final solution. Final solution. I want you all to tell the answer. Tell me where to where. Tell me the loop first. Where to what? A to E. All of you. A to E. E to C. C to B. B to D. D to A. Can I just write the straight, loop straight away or not? Right on. Final solution. A to E. E to C. C to B. B to D. And D to A. A to E, E to C, C to B, B to D, D to A. Have the cost. A to E, tell, write the cost below. A to E, what are the A to E cost here? 4 plus, write along with me. 4 plus. E to C, what are the cost? 5 plus. 4 plus 5 plus. C to B, what are the cost? 6 plus. 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus. B to D, what are the cost? 3 plus. E to D to A, what is E to A cost? 3. So it is, okay, 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 3 plus 6 is equal to 21. Why the cost has increased by 21? I did not allocate in efficient cell. I did not sell having 1 rupee extra cost. It went up by 1 rupee. That's it. Everybody following or not? Now, with this, we have completed the solution to this traveling salesman problem. This type has not been asked till now in the exams, but has been asked twice in the ICWA final examination. Okay, now. With this, we complete. Uh, before that, I forgot to tell one more point and then I'll complete this chapter now. Multiple optimal solution, when you will have, tell me. One last point and observe. when you will be having a? We will be having a more than 102 choose from. Okay, now please. Suppose. After row operation and column operation, we have a matrix like this, 4 by 4 matrix. Now, this is not a beginning. After doing what? Row operation, column operation. That means all persons are efficient. All jobs can be assigned to what? Any person. Like this, a matrix exists. In a parita. It can happen or not? Yes, sir. Please. This is the situation. We can cover easily. Only how many lines are? Four lines will be used to cover all the zeros. I can proceed for making assignment. Yes or no? One solution, multiple optimal. Multiple optimal solution. How many solutions are there? Question can be asked or not? Okay, it is one of the exam question is one of the exam question where they said after row and column operation a 4 by 4 matrix has got what zeros everywhere and they ask you how many solutions are what possible a question has been asked yes or no now it could be done with a simple school mathematics knowledge but sometimes we forget it have you studied a chapter called as permutation and combination 
yeah, long, long ago. I don't know. No. Now, in that, in this case, there are four factorial. How many factorial? Four factorial ways of making assignment, getting the same solution. Are you following or not? No. Please. Four factorial means. Don't talk. Please. Wait. What formula means what? 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Is how many ways here? There are 24 solutions for this problem. All gives you what? The same cost or same profit as the case may be. Are you all following what I am saying? So, in this case, if all are 0, how many ways of doing it here? 24 ways, 4 factorial. It is a 3 by 3 matrix. What factorial? 3 factorial and so on. Everybody following not? Now, the logic is very simple here. Yeah? Why 4 factorial? Now, let us see how it works. Now, in this row, I have four choices. Yes, sir. That means there are four ways. I do not know. What happens is, once one of the choices made, once one of the choices made, in the second row, I will have only three choices. Yes, now, if I choose this, this cannot be chosen. So, I have only how many choices here? Three choices. When I make a choice here, in the next row, I will have only how many choices? Two choices. You make a choice here, the last choice will be automatically made, not a choice, compulsory. Yes, yes or no? That means I have four, I have four to choose from. Once you have chosen one from our own out of the four, in the next year I have what? Three to choose from. Then I have what? Two to choose from. I have what? One to choose from. I have four and three and two and one. So I have what? Four into three into two into one. Always in mathematics, the word and means multiplication. The word all means what? At, yes, sorry? Addition. The word and means what? Multiplication. The word all means what? Addition. Everybody following or not? Yes, sir. Very simple, yeah. What is the probability of getting head or tails in a toss of coin? 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2. Yes or no? Now, no ask me, sir, what is the probability of head and tail? Not possible, yeah. Okay. In a mutually exclusive, but I'll give another example. I have two dice. How many dice here? Yeah? Two dice. Dice no number. Dai or not? No. How many dice here? Yeah? Two dice. Now, see. Every dice has six faces, right or not? Yeah. Not Rajini Gandhi, they are dice. As well, how many faces? They are six faces. Okay, listen here. Yeah. Now, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Listen here. Yeah. I want in one dice a number three. I want in one dice what? A number three. What is the probability of getting three in a dice? One by six. In another dice, I want a number three. What is the probability of getting three in another dice? One by six. Getting a number 3 in a dice is 1 by 6. Getting a number 3 in one, another dice is what? 1 by 6. Now, the two things. I throw both the dice together. I throw both the dice what? Together. Now, listen to my words. I want 3 in this dice and in that dice. Yes or no? In that case, it is a multiplication addition or multiplication. The problem is much more less because both should together happen. Yes or no? That means joint means what? Multiplication. 1 by 6 into 1 by 6. Are you following saying? Now, suppose I want 3 in either one of the dice. Na, then it is what? R. It becomes what? 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6. Are you following what I am saying? Now, here I can make a choice of 4 and a 3, and a 2, and a 1. So it is going to be what? 4 into 3, into 2, into 1. Now, how many ways here? 4 factorial ways is one of the exam problems. Are you following? I am not imagining and telling you. It is one of the exams. And how many optimum solutions are possible in a given matrix? Everybody following or not? You can note this as a small point, just as a miscellaneous point before I proceed. Now, write down note. Not for this sum, it is a general, okay, right, no. Suppose there exist, suppose there exist a 4 by 4 matrix, suppose there exist a 4 by 4 matrix having zeros in all the cells suppose that exists a 4 by 4 matrix having zero cell that having zeros in all the cells having zeros in all the cells after row 1 column operation having zeros in all the cells after row 1 column operation 
after row and column operation. How many solutions are possible? How many solutions are possible? We write the answer 4 factorial. We write the answer 4 factorial that is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. 4 factorial that is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 is equal to 24. 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 is equal to 24. With this, we complete this chapter assignment. Okay, now.